Brown sugar or stevia? Which one is actually the best for my blood sugar? A few days ago, I ate a yogurt like this with a spoon of brown sugar in it. And this is the impact it had on my blood sugar. Today, I'm going to eat the exact same yogurt, but this time I'm going to add one spoon of stevia. And I'm really curious to see the difference it will have. With the Sugar AI app, when we scan a yogurt and brown sugar, which is not so great. However, if I scan the same yogurt, but this time I add stevia on the app, clean Clearly stevia is better, but I'm really curious to see on my glucose monitor if it's also going to be stevia, which will be the clear winner. Let's see. All right, it's been two hours since I ate my yogurt with stevia added in it. And we're going to check on the glucose monitor to see exactly what it did to my blood sugar. So when I ate the plain yogurt alone with nothing added in it, no sugar, this is the curve that it did. Almost no spike, very clean line, very healthy. As soon as I added a little bit of brown sugar in it, this is what I got, which is an insane spike, really like big, big spike. Now today with stevia, this is what it did. So it's almost nothing. Stevia and nothing is about the same. So stevia is actually a very good solution if you want to sweeten your food without having any negative glycemic impact on it. Tomorrow I will test coconut blossom sugar because many people say that this is also a very good option and we'll see what it does.